Hello everyone. Um, this uh, will clarify things about the beat detective uh, in case I wasn't clear in a previous video. So um, here I have a pop song and I have uh, fingers tapping recorded beats. And I want to add um, instrument parts later like flute, violin to the pop song. I want to generate scores. But first you got to make sure that your, your grid is in line. Uh, your, your, your pop song uh, and our grid matches and because when we sing you know humans we are not metronomes so of, of course the pop song is not going to match the grid and here is what is very useful using the beat detective um, my, this is my fingers tapping uh, recorded uh, beats and let's have a quick listen so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna select this entire selection, and uh, you can go to Events Beat Detective, or you can use uh, Control Eight for PC, and you're gonna select Beat Bar Beat Marker Generation, and you're gonna this is important. I was tapping at quarter notes, so if you are tapping at quarter notes, then you should select quarter notes. Um, if you uh, I was think I, I kept thinking about the grid that I will always work with for sixteen notes. So I selected sixteen notes and yeah, it, it messed up. Um, because I usually work with sixteen notes on my instrument uh, MIDI files, MIDI tracks. So Pro Tools gonna analyze the beats. Hope my computer doesn't crash. Oh my God. Now it's gonna ask you all the other instrument, tr uh, all the other MIDI tracks, uh, which you use tick position. I want to move, move them, and so now this is the awesome thing that happens. Um, it's all seven one, seven two, seven three, seven four, eight one, eight two. So now the grid has been sh all shifted to your beats. This is unchanged, and this, uh, is un unchanged yes the grid has shifted yeah so this is uh amazing thing about beat detective you don't have to go to every transient and identify the beat using control i so hope that helps